Oh, hello everyone, thanks for coming and today I would like to give a review of our first week's materials. So in the first week we mainly talk about some basic concepts and, and introduction to our class, life insurance and annuities. So there are some basic concepts and terms we'll be using throughout this quarter. So first we are mainly discussing life insurance. The life insurance is used against the death of a uh, predetermined life and the money will be paid as a death of the life. Premium. Premium is a cost for the police holder to pay for, to the insurer to enter into an insurance contract. Annuity. Annuity is a regular payment to the policy holder. So it's different from the life insurance. It's like a pension. Of course, there are other important terms that we'll be using throughout this quarter, which we will introduce when we use them. There are different types of life insurance, like the term insurance, which insures against the the, the life stays in a, in a predetermined period of time, whole life insurance, which covers the whole life of the life of the person to be insured. The endowment insurance, which pays a sum or a lump sum of money either at the death of the life or at the end of a predetermined period, whichever, uh, whichever comes first. Then, the important thing is the survival function. First, we have the uh, death probability f of x and t. It is a probability that the life h x dies before h x plus t x. S x of t, which equals to one minus f x of t, is a probability probability that the life h x survives for at least another t x years. We have the important assumption, which is the independence of the survival probability. That means if a life survives, already survives for x years, then its survival probability for at least another t years is independent of its previous states. S of x and t times S of 0 of x equals to S 0 of x and plus t. There are some additional assumptions on the survival probability S of t. S0 of t is differentiable and the derivative of S0 of t is always more or equal than 0, which means that the survival probability is always not increasing. The expected age or the average age is finite, which means that limit t goes to infinity, t times S of t is 0. The variance in the age is all also finite, which means that as t goes to infinity, t squared times s of t goes to zero. The force or mortality is a, like the death rate. Its definition is the derivative of the the op, the opposite number of the derivative of s of x mm, dx. It can be represented as minus 1 over s0 of x d uh, ds0 of x. So it's like the, it, 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 it's just a death rate and the, the survival probability as x of t can be expressed as the exponent uh, e, e to minus the integration of the death rate. So this is a survival probability for at least another T years. Thank you.